have the number one team, Francisco and Berta. Um, we're gonna start desde arriba para abajo. Okay, yes, spider webs. Vamos a usar el easy off para el oven. ¿Qué vas a hacer, Berta, tú? Voy a quitar esa plantita del cofre. Se hace el refri de adentro. No hay nada. Okay. You gotta wear my mask because then it's gonna get really stinky with this liquid. Ok, ok, vamos a empezar desde arriba hacia abajo. Aquí estamos viendo que estoy limpiando una ventana y también hacemos um, esta parte. Estaba súper sucia. Tuve que limpiarla como unas 3, 4 veces, pero al último terminé y sí. Como ven, um, empezamos desde arriba hacia abajo. Aquí estoy haciendo los gabinetes y traté de hacer todos los de arriba para terminar y después hacer los de abajo. Um, puse un poco de música para que el ambiente esté going y que no me canse, chicos. Aquí en este video es puro Spanglish. Bueno, y continuamos. Aquí sigo con los gabinetes de arriba. Y ya. All right, don't mind me having some fun. But anyways, um, now I will start in the middle section. I start wiping down the counters and I do some of the wall too because it was kind of dirty. And then I move on to the stove. Um, as you guys can see, I had already prepped it and left it uh, soaking with the product. That way once I come to it, it'll be easier to clean. Continuamos con las parrillas. Um, aquí uso este desengrasante que es súper bueno y ayuda a quitar toda grasa pegada. It's super good, guys. You guys should use it. Right, so terminamos. Está aquí bien sudada, pero es so good in the hood. Anyways, ya todo está limpio y ya nos vamos. Ok, so aquí empezamos el sink, la estufa. Les voy a enseñar el oven. Se mira, wow, really. 
Ok. Me gustaría enseñarles acá abajo de la estufa, miren. Oh, gone. Todo se desapareció. Miren que shiny, bright, clear. Beautiful, beautiful. Ahí está my father doing the last touches, los últimos toques y yo tengo que trapear aquí. So. So I did show you guys a video of us cleaning, um, doing a little move-in cleaning house. Um, today I am going to an interview. I have an interview for a veterinarian place uh, for pharmacy tech. So I'm going to go check that out. I've never worked at a veterinarian place. I mean, I do love animals and I wouldn't mind dealing with animals and patients um, and giving them prescriptions and medication and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. This job, I did apply on Indeed. Um, I've been applying to so many like pharmacy tech positions. Um, I've done a couple interviews and I have no idea. Some of them say I don't have enough um, experience or other things I'm not really sure, but we'll see how this one goes. Like I said, I applied. I don't have any veterinarian experience or anything like that so we'll see how it goes but anyways um yeah so it didn't go bad i felt like it went really good um they seem like a really cool veterinary place for animals um, the people that i interviewed were really nice um it was a doctor and it was this lady named kim um yeah it didn't seem bad after all seem pretty cool something different something that i can learn other than working like i said with people i can work with animals and all that stuff um but yeah we'll see how it goes fingers crossed um the hours are not bad either tell you guys what happened with my interview for the veterinarian hospital where I applied so I did get hired um, I don't know how I feel about it um, I have like a sweet and sour kind of feeling like sweet as in like yay I'm gonna go do what I went to school for which is pharmacy tech and it's exciting working at a veterinarian place since I'm gonna be working with animals. Um, sour part is I'm leaving and I won't be able to help my parents do house cleaning anymore. Uh, house cleaning is really hard guys. If you guys think it's easy, it's not, try it out. It's really, really hard. Like literally you're sweating your ass off. So that's how I felt. Um, I love working with my parents. That's another thing. It's kind of a sour moment because I don't want to leave my parents. They're getting old and tired. And yeah, anyways, that's for another story. But um, also, I've been helping them. I'm kind of like been there helping them a lot. Um, I mean, I do get paid to work with them and help them, but I kind of know their style of cleaning and what they like. Um, so it is kind of a sour moment at that part. Also, I'm kind of nervous, um, something new, something different. I don't know how I feel about it. Well, I'm telling you how I feel about it right now. <laughs> but I don't know how I feel about it, which isn't like something different for me. Um, and I'm gonna have to learn. That's one thing I hate about working at a new job is like when you work at a new job, you're going to have to learn new things. Um, 
you're gonna have to meet new people and learn how they are um, so it's like a, a mixed emotions of everything because yes I'm happy but yes I'm sad yes I'm nervous yes I'm worried stressed out um, but we'll see how it goes hopefully it goes really good and yeah I just got my car uh, maintained I got some maintenance for my car at the car shop and I am coming back with it um, feels really good the driving feels really smooth so yeah and then also I got like this little cute I've been seeing it a lot of on Amazon um, I don't know how much it is but I was looking at the little store for Toyota and I saw this it's only $5.99 I was like why not it's super cute like put your trash here kids so I got this um, I also got a charger and of course I got this cute little phone stand so I can record while I'm driving no hands on the phone guys no phone and driving and all that but anyways I got it here I'm using it right now which is pretty cool looks really nice but yeah that's about it um, I will see you guys soon